The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question number six says, calculate the empirical, or sorry, tartaric acid is a white powdery substance that coats our sour candy such as Sour Patch Kids. Combustion analysis of a 12.01 gram sample tartaric acid, which contains only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, produced 14.08 grams carbon dioxide. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we have CX, HY, OZ plus oxygen yields CO2, of which is 14.08 grams plus H2O, which is 4.32 grams. So to solve this type of question, to solve what the formula for tartaric acid is, we have to find out the moles of carbon and the moles of hydrogen. So in order to do this, it tells us we have 14.08 grams. So we know that carbon has a molar mass of 12 and oxygen has a molar mass of 16. So together, it has a molar mass of about 44 grams per mole. So to find out how many moles it is, we do 14.08 divided by 44, which is 0 0.32 moles. Now that we know how many moles it is, let's go ahead and do the other side. So we have 4.32 divided by about 18.02 gives us 0 0.239 moles. But remember that when we're doing hydrogen, there's two hydrogens, so we have to multiply that by 2. 0 0.479 moles hydrogen. So, in order to figure out how many grams of carbon and how many, once we figured out the moles of carbon and the moles of hydrogen, let's go ahead and convert back to our grams of carbon and our grams of hydrogen in order to use this 12.01 number. So, 0 0.32 times 12 gives us 3.84 grams carbon total. If we do 0 0.479 times 1.01 .01 for hydrogen, we have 0 0.483 grams hydrogen total. So we know that our CHO compound has 12.01 grams total. So we know that 3.84 of that is carbon, and we know that 0 0.483 is hydrogen. So if we subtract both of these from the total, we can s figure out how much is oxygen. So if we do 12.01 minus 3.84 minus 0.483, we get 7.687 grams of oxygen. Now. Grams doesn't help us, it only finds it helps us how much oxygen we have. In order to find out how much oxygen we have and to get back here, everything must be in terms of moles. So we know that oxygen has a molecular mass of 16, so let's go ahead and do 7.687 divided by 16 grams per mole. Which gives us 0 0.480 moles of oxygen. So we're almost done. So, in order to determine what our formula is, we need to divide each of the moles by the lowest. So we know we have 0 0.480 moles oxygen, 0 0.32 moles carbon, and 0 0.480 0.483 moles of hydrogen. 
So the easiest way to now find our formula is divide by the smallest, so we're going to divide everything by 0 0.32. Point four eight zero divided by point three two equals one point five. So oxygen equals one point five, carbon equals one, and hydrogen equals one point five. Well, is it possible to have one point five carbons or one point five oxygens or two point five hydrogens? No, we need whole numbers when we fill in what C X H Y and O R. So the easiest way to do it is just double everything. Multiply by 2. So if we multiply everything by 2, we have 3 hydrogens, 2 carbons, and 3 oxygens. So if we go back up here to our CHO and fill in for X, we know that X for carbon was 2. We know that 3 H's, and we know we have 3 O's. So to write this out, let's go ahead and write C2 H3 O3. And let's go to our answer choices. And yes, answer choice number 4 says C2 H3 O3, answer choice number four. So remember, find out moles of carbon and hydrogen, then convert to grams, subtract the grams from your total, and then go back, find your grams of oxygen, find your moles of oxygen, and then convert moles to the formula. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu